All right, everyone. We're here with you on this fine Friday. How's everybody doing on this fine Friday? Uh, did y'all watch the debate last night? I'm telling you, the CNN and everybody are putting Biden down the road like you wouldn't believe. I've never seen so many Democrats jumping ship on Joe Biden, man. It ain't good. They said that whoever put, whoever decided to put split screen between him and Biden on there didn't do Joe Dot Biden no good. No good. To, they didn't help him none. They hurt him really bad. You know, they're, even the Democrats now are saying, we gotta, how are we going to replace him this late in the game, you know? Uh, he looked like a demented, dementated old man. Yeah, look like he's about to go to sleep. And they said he lied on every point that he made. Every word he said, every question that they asked him, he lied on everything. Couldn't tell a straight answer. The only thing he could do is bash Donald Trump, uh, you know, and lie about things he's done or not done. Mm-mm-mm. I'll tell you, but anyway, that's enough of that. I'm just enjoying this day. I just got back from the getting some groceries. Got it. Put some old food down the neck, you know. Gotta have your groceries. But anyway, I couldn't believe that now. I told everybody what was gonna happen. I said that debate's gonna be bad for that him. He's gonna be up there and he's gonna be looking like he's just about to fall over, which is what happened, like I knew would, you know. But anyway, how's everybody doing on my subscribers and people who hasn't subscribed? Hello to all y'all. Enjoy the drive. I'm got got to drive home here, and you can see the see the drive home. We got a few clouds, but it's still hot. It's over 91 degrees today in Upper East Tennessee. I live kind of in the middle of a valley in the mountains area. Beautiful, beautiful country. But I just can't wait to see what's going to happen. Who they're going to pick for the Democratic nominee? If they toss Biden to the side, uh, everybody's saying they think it's going to be Hillary Clinton. Now, that would be a disaster. Everybody knows that. She's uh, about as far left as you can go. And everybody who uh, don't go for her way, they get un unalived really quick. Now, they don't last too long. Any of her political opponents, most of the time, do not last long. Or anybody who does their family wrong they end up off a cliff somewhere or if they're on a plane they end up in the side of a mountain I remember one time there was somebody who was supposed to testify against Hillary and Bill and uh, they ended up having the fuel line on their uh, airplane unplugged and they put the fuel line down in a quart jar where it would just have enough fuel to get to the mountain the range that they was going to cross and it it sputtered out on them and the plane died and dove right into the side of the mountain. There was nothing they could do. Somebody had uh, knew how much gas it would take. It was either like a gallon jug or a, a glass jug, you know, a gallon, quart, two quart jug, whatever it was. But anyway, that plane went boom right down into the side of that mountain and exploded and they couldn't figure nothing out. But they did find pieces and fragments of a ball mason jar and stuff. So. He said, that wasn't supposed to be there. And it had gasoline residue in it. <clears throat> and it's just, uh, this political game is so corrupt right now. It's, uh, it's a shame what our country has become with the corruption and people wanting money and power over the people and doing, you know, like Joe Biden said, there was this guy at this uh, construction company place you know about two years ago he told him you yeah, you work for me and joe biden looked right at him pointed right at him said i don't work for you pal and then that guy said well yeah you, you told the truth there you work for china and ukraine and all them you don't work for us that's true that's the only true statement you've ever told the president and all the people that's working for the president is supposed to be on our side and uh work for the people, not the other way around. 
but we're we're you know we're indebted to the daggone taxes we have to pay and all that which is a lot because they tax you when you make the money they tax you when you spend the money they tax you at the end of the year they tax you on your payroll they tax you when you buy your groceries gas and then they tax you when you die tax your property anything you leave to anybody they tax that they tax your property throughout the year you know it's just tax tax death and taxes that's the only thing we have so you're being held ransom you know you have to work for you have to work if you don't you know you they take your home they take your land all that good stuff enough of the rant i'm just going on about the debate debate was uh, it went good for trump i know that what do y'all think did you all watch the debate and watch how weak joe biden looked and then they get him up in north carolina and he's hopped up on cocaine or something see donald trump wouldn't let no drugs be used to pump up anybody joe biden or anybody you know he said i want a drug test done for the debate make sure there's nobody he ain't on cocaine or something like that who knows amphetamine whatever so he was down during that debate and then he goes to north carolina at 12 o'clock noon the following day and he's all amped up and angry which is the way he is when they got him doped up coked up or whatever he's all hollering and <laughs> screaming lying about what's being done to with trump you know all that stuff joe biden he's the biggest liar crook president we've ever had and it's a shame that he got to be in there. I mean, he tried twice or three times before. He tried in the 80s twice, I know. And then he tried once in the 90s. And he, they found out how he had faked his speeches and stuff, plagiarized. And then they, they said he, he would lie about how he did in school. Like he said, he graduated at the top half of his class. And they said he was the... Uh, next to the last three in his class bottom of his class and just always you know always lied about everything that's just the way it is with him anybody who votes for biden at this point is just brain dead just like him you know the way i feel about it but maybe in november we can change everything get everything back to normal but even people say you know even if trump does get in office and go to put stuff back the way it should said it would take a hundred years to undo all the damage that Joe Biden and Barack Obama has done in this three and a half year cycle, you know. Because the prices of stuff will never go back to where they were. Might get gas back down if they open the pipelines and start pumping and drilling and drilling and making gas here, you know. All that daggone global warming stuff, that's green planet you know if we go green and the other rest of the world don't go green what does it matter and you can't really go green you can't run off batteries you know you have to have coal to charge the batteries how are you going to charge a battery at night time with solar or wind what are you going to do when the wind don't blow for a month or a week you know hard enough to run the turbines you know you're not going to generate the kind of electricity we need if everybody goes with electric vehicles there's not going to be enough you know power to run that just off electricity alone you have to have coal to run the plants to charge those power stations but anyway enough of the rant i love all my subscribers uh the new people come on i, I have a lot of good videos cool videos comedy usually i'm not talking about politics but uh anyway just around the debate i wanted to say that so anyway love all y'all y'all like comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next video bye everyone